one. There it is. H I T. So happy it's Thursday. Time for him to drop some fire. So here we go. Drop the fire. All right, all you business pros out there. Before we jump into the show, just a quick reminder to please subscribe on whichever platform it is that you're listening to us on today. Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe, and drop a review and help other like-minded business owners find value from our awesome guests as we rise up in the podcast rankings. We will really appreciate it. And if you want to be a guest on the show, we'd love to have you on and learn from you too. Go to www.businessbro.com biz slash podcast guest to schedule your time slot and don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias at business bros pod we're so excited we're so honored to bring yet another incredible guest on the business bros pod every single one of our listeners knows the power of hustle because that's what we do we have the energy we have the drive we have the motivation our guest today is help us here to help us find our way through the thick of it and keep our mindsets right as we grind and hustle our way out of our nine to fives our guest today was raised by entrepreneurs and brings his mindset and skills to every hustler out there to help us get out of the grind and find freedom in business Whether you need help in video or photo production, launching your podcast, or with your online strategy, our guest is your go-to guy. Joining us today from Hustle Energy, we're excited to have the host of the Hustle the Day podcast. Welcome to the show, Trent Bray! The Business Bros Podcast was created for you. Learn from the business professionals who come to share their stories. Find out what's working in business on social media, what's hot and what's not, straight from the mouths of successful entrepreneurs out there doing the real work. And now, welcome to another episode of Business Bros! Yeah, here we go. I had the opportunity to be on Trent's show a while back, and uh, we've had some scheduling conflicts here and there, but we're finally here. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to get Trent on the show and tell me all about his hustle energy. Trent, welcome to the program, man. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate being here. You know, I I appreciate what you guys are doing, and you know what? This... uh, this whole platform you guys are using, you gave so many, so many podcasting tips on my show. I've integrated some of them and I'm super excited that, uh, you know, hopefully I can provide some value today. Well, let me ask you, uh, you know, it, speaking of the tips, uh, what, what no, and that's funny, but, um, sh- but uh, normally, uh, you know, when, when you get to be a guest on a show, there are a lot of things that people don't see from behind the scenes, everything from how you get booked on a show, what they send you. What did you think about what we provided to you as a guest uh, prior to even getting on the show? Well, Honestly, that's something that I'm going to have to integrate into my my show now. Is, you know, all the materials that <laughs> you guys worry, man. Me too. ahead of time, and you know, all the, you know, everything that you provided and had the link. You know, basically, it was a flawless setup. I need to work on that myself. So, credit I, I where credit is due. Right there, <laughs> this guy right here, dude, this guy it, right here. Let's let's be fair though. It's like it's like anything else. You are episode five hundred and ninety six. If I didn't have Holy something crap. as uh, as 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 honed in as far as you know our process is concerned, I probably shouldn't have been doing this anymore. It's, that's that's just the way it should work, right? <laughs> All right. Well, enough about us and our show. What about you, man? And you know, tell our audience a little bit about who you are, how you got into this whole hustle energy. Yeah. So uh, my name is Trent Bray. Um, I have been a lifelong entrepreneur starting back at about age 14. You know, I started uh, reverse engineering websites and ended up creating websites for other people and, you know, kind of lost my way along the way there. But, uh, you know, I had a nine to five job that I hated. I wanted to get out of it. And by the end of the day, you know, I've got a wife, I've got three kids. Things are, It takes a lot of work to keep working on the side hustle after the end of the day. And Mm -hmm. so if I pound a Red Bull, I'm up all night. I wanted something that provided me the focus, a little bit of energy that allowed me to still sleep at the end of the night. And this idea came to me like seven years ago. 
And I, it just kind of nagged at me for a while. And through this process, I was going through a lot of self-development, uh, personal improvement. And um, I realized, you know, the power of some of these supplements and things and ended up spending three years trying to get this product to the market that allows you to hustle, but you know, you can still sleep at the end of the night. Um, and it's a powder drink mix designed to help you focus called hustle focused energy. And I, like I said, I've been working on that for the last three years. It finally launched about, uh, two months ago, super excited. Nice. Um, and you know what, this, this business has more of a, a why behind it. I want to help entrepreneurs make impact, make an impact uh, because they can do that directly one-on-one. -on -one, whereas through a nine to five job, you typically can't make that impact. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously there's exceptions to the rule, but uh, for the general, most part, for yeah. the most part, well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm going to say a story, man. Cause I, I, energy drinks and I don't get along anymore. So, I mean, it, it, there was, when I was, uh, I don't want to say about 20, early twenties or so, uh, I would go to the gym with a buddy of mine and he'd walk in, he'd be like, all right, dude, we're going to get these science, right? That's a, those were one of the energy drinks, science, uh, yep. energy drinks. And we'd chug it and then we'd you know, run our 45 minutes and then hit the weights and it was all good. You know, it was, it was pretty good workout. Then He's like, dude, we should try these red lines. And I moved over to a red line. Oh, I remember and those. Holy crap, man. I, w I had the jitters for like hours after a workout. And this is after like two and a half hours of like weights and running cardio. And I would still have those jitters. And then I think those got uh, FDA like removed those. They yeah. should have, man. Those things were yeah. bad. I mean, heart attack yeah. in a can right there. <laughs> Then another time I thought, I would, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna be good. So we would go to Vegas and, and when we were younger, we wouldn't fly. Obviously, we didn't have the money to do, you know, flying stuff. So we'd all like caravan in a in a in a truck, right? We're getting in the car and we'd all roll up to Vegas, but we didn't want to hit traffic. So we would leave at about 11 o'clock at night drive. It's about a four or five hour drive from where we're at to get to Vegas. And we'd arrive at Vegas like at four or five in the morning. And you don't get to check into your hotel till like three in the afternoon, right? Oh, yeah. So. And I, so I was no, like, yes. all right, that's cool. I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit at the poker table, have some fun. Right. So I popped the five hour energy drink and I'm telling you, man, it was the worst experience I've ever had. I was sitting at the poker table, grinding my teeth. I couldn't help it. I was grinding my teeth. My stomach felt horrible, but literally five hours later, I felt it come out of my system. Almost like a, right. like a, like, a, I don't know. I don't know how like water flowing through your body. Just like, whew just kind of exited <laughs> after that, man, I have never touched it. Now I, now I'm just all about the, about, about the water. So when you're describing your product and it, how it, you don't have that, that major crash at the end where you're, <laughs> you're able to sleep. That's huge for me. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. There's no crash. There's, you know, it's not like caffeine. Caffeine has this huge spike crash. This is more of a, you know, a little slight gentle rise in energy. Most people describe it as, Hey, I didn't have that drop off at 2 PM. Like I normally do. Mm -hmm. um, so it is, it does provide a little bit of energy, but the main thing is it helps you get dialed in, helps you get in the zone, helps you focus. And you know, you mix it with water. Um, you know, I even have my, my daughters had it, you know, it's not something that's loaded up with stuff you wouldn't want, wouldn't want to put in your body. So tell me about uh, the journey to get it there. Three years to develop this product. How do, I yeah. mean, how, how do you stay committed that long? It's a great question because my prior self, my prior entrepreneurial self would say I, I would have quit many a times. And you can ask my wife, I almost did multiple times because, you know, I, I had to understand it was about more than me. So, you know, I... I when I started a business prior to this, it was about, oh, I want to make money or, you know, I just want to have fun or something. You know, it wasn't, I wasn't in the right place. Whereas, you know, I established that why I established, you know, wanting to help people and it was a bigger, something bigger than me. So it was, you know, wanting to create that impact through other entrepreneurs. And, um, when it gets down to that, it's like, well, this is selfish. If I quit, you know, mm. this is something that's bigger than me. It's not something that I can give up on because I'm letting other people down in the process too. So it's about finding something that's bigger than you. So, 
you know, it's with insurance or real estate, like with you guys, that's so much bigger than, you know, selling something. It's, you know, creating a lifestyle, creating peace of mind. It's, you know, helping people establish their dreams with their homes. And, you know, it's, there's, there's so much to it rather than just, you know, a money play. And that's something that's helped keep me going. Even though there was, you know, I, I spent an entire year trying to make this thing be a gummy. It was supposed to be like a gummy bear. And it spent a year with a manufacturer out of Arizona. It didn't end up working out. Um, then it went to this powdered drink mix, went through multiple manufacturers, went through four trial run productions that didn't work because the taste was off. The ingredients were off. The uh, coloring was off, you know, just all these different things that every time where it's like, all right, this sample is dialed in and there's hundreds of samples behind this and it's dialed in, let's run it. And then it fails. Dude, that's yeah. like uh, like the light bulb experiment, right? Like all of a sudden, we're <laughs> going to get this right. We're going to try right. it until we get this thing right. Dude, I mean, <clears throat> just just in that that part of the story alone, I mean, the, the fact that you went after failure after failure after failure, I mean, that's a testimony to to who you are and, and what you wanted to accomplish. And I'll be honest, I mean, yeah, you're right. It, it, you know, you, there's always a deeper reason for why. There's always something more. But dude, when it comes down to it, we do you do have to make money in this thing. You do have to you have three kids, dude. So, you know, having that extra you know, having that that money come in, it's important. It, it's shoes, it's clothes, it's food on the table, it's Disneyland trips, it's all these other things that you could be doing with uh, you know, maybe going to work in an extra overtime or whatever, but you're focusing your attention on doing something that's going to make an impact and and how are you making that hard to sell? How do you sell that to your children? How do you sell that to the wife that, you know, dad's over here consuming time building this thing that he wants to to build because it's beyond them. I, you know, you can understand, but how do you make that sell to the family? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question because you know what they, you have to, one thing that's been, uh, you know, taught to me is you have to have such a big dream that everybody else can be involved in it. So, you know, if it's, well, I want to be on the beach, you know, hanging out, just relaxing. Well, that's not a big enough dream because where's your family? Where's everybody else involved in this? You know, you have to sell the dream of, hey, I want this, let's say, giant house. And you know what? My daughter's going to have this room and my other daughter's going to have this room. And you can have, you know a swimming pool or whatever. You have to sell the dream that's big enough that they see themselves in it too. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just a matter of being selfish and what do you want? What can you provide for the family as well in this dream? And honestly, it's there's days where it's like, I don't understand why my wife still believes in this, but there's times where she believes in it more than I do. Uh, but it's she just, loves you, man. That's what it is. Yeah. She loves you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. she, she didn't, she must. Yeah, no. Uh, I wonder that I sometimes too, that. man. I wonder, I wonder that about my own wife. I'm like, seriously, <laughs> babe, like you're putting up with me again. Like, is, and, and I know I can see it sometimes. I'm like, you're, she looks at me like, you're going to do that. You're going to, you're going to, you, do you have a podcast today? Do you have a podcast tomorrow? Do you, have, like, you know, did she, get, did she get it? She knows how, how, you know, convicted I am on, on, on making things happen here. Uh, and, and she's happy when, when, you know, the checks come in and, and we can do some fun stuff or do some things to the house. But there are days that there's that the struggle is real. That that mm -hmm. your dedication is not only uh, it's not only part of what you do, but your your family is dedicated to the same type of thing. And and it it's uh, there's times when they're gonna step back and uh, you're gonna miss some things. You're gonna miss some soccer practices or some baseball practices or some you know things here and there. But in the end, we want to we we tell ourselves that it's worth it, right? In the end, we tell ourselves that it's making an impact. Uh, what, what kind of vision do you see for your company to, to kind of justify those things? Yeah. So speaking real quick to that, that point, um, you know, I think that there is, you know what, there's, there's a lot of ways to, to justify things, but fortunately through entrepreneurship, yes, it does require a lot of work. It does require a lot of time, but part of the reason why I chose entrepreneurship is because you said, uh, you know, I might miss out on some things. I 
chose this lifestyle because I won't miss out on as many things because I can dictate my schedule. So it's gotten cold here in Utah now, but uh, prior to that, it was riding bikes with my daughter to school every single day. She said, you know what, dad, I want to ride my bike to school today. All right, let's do it. And I rearranged meetings. I cut podcasts short, you know, just so that I could be there for my daughter, show up at her school on my bike. You know, I have to ride double the amount because it's like I have to ride up there to up take her back. to school, ride back home, ride up back up, back. ride back home. Yeah. And <laughs> you know what? That's that's the thing, though, is I love doing that. I love those experiences. And if I was stuck in a normal office, I wouldn't have that option to do that. And mm. so to me, you know, it's kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, I'm by doing this, I'm not going to reach uh, Jeff Bezos levels, but that's okay with me. That's not, that's not what I aspire to. Um, but I can still provide the lifestyle that I plan to for my family while still being present with my family. Cause growing up, you know, my, both my parents were entrepreneurs and the way that they did things, the way that they saw best to raise me and no judgment on them is that they were always gone. They were mm -hmm. always making deals. They were always doing things to try and improve our lives in the way they best saw fit. But that taught me, I want to be there for my kids. I don't want to miss out on those things. I saw what they were doing. It's like, you know what? I want to be there for them. So I show up to dances. I show up to practices. I show up to recitals, whatever is going on. You know, I want to make sure to still be a part of it. But then as soon as that's done, I can go back to work from anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. And that is, that is one of those things that, uh, I don't think people really, uh, maybe they don't quite understand until they have the opportunity. COVID's given everybody that opportunity to taste what time feels like, right. To get their, to get their time back. Uh, you know, whether it was working from home, maybe you had to take some specific time off, maybe your site closed or whatever the situation is. That's one of the benefits of this whole pandemic situation is people were given more time. I mean, you didn't realize how much time you were losing driving from one place to another every single day, commuting all the way back home. Uh, you didn't realize how much time you were missing with family or the interactions you were missing because you were in the office for eight, nine hours a day, whatever it is. Like the time that we have is super valuable. And, and there's a lot of entrepreneurs, myself included, right? When I first got into this whole space, I had that vision of I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be able to buy the car that I want. I'm going to be able to buy the house that I want. I'm going to be able to do the things that I want to do when I want to do them, how I want to do them. But then reality starts to set in. And I think we all make this adjustment to try to conform to whatever it is that we're doing. We try to conform to that nine to five. We try to conform to the life, to the house that we have. We, we start to conform with the kids, uh, you know, and, and their schedules. How much of what you wanted when you first started, do you still go after and how much of it has changed? Not necessarily because you wanted to, because you had to. Hmm. That's a good question. I, I don't think I've changed that much because I've had to, I mean, things have definitely changed in that, you know, once you go from two kids to three kids, it's like, okay, well, if I, you know, <laughs> for sure, that's changed. The, I can't have the, uh, the, you know, the Porsche 911 that has four seats. Cause now we can't all fit in there. You know, those, yeah. those kind of things are more of a had to change, but uh, you know what? I still, I still have the same aspirations in in most of my goals, except maybe uh, you know I've scaled back some of the travel side of things more because I want to be around my family more. And that's not to say you know I don't want to travel with my kids, but it's more of a <laughs> it's you know, not as easy when they're younger. <laughs> You've got to think before I dig myself too deep there. Right, right. Uh, I know. The wife's going to be watching. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, why I you have You guys pets. don't save this afterwards, right? It's right, just no, no. It's, it's automatically yeah, deleted. No. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> well, if that's the case. Not on the internet or anything. Entirely, no. Um, no, the goals haven't honestly changed that much because I – I mean, they're big goals, but I don't feel like they were ever – 
unachievable, but that's uh, also my own personality. It's like, I know I can achieve big things, but I just don't quite know the time frame that it's going to be because I thought originally when I was going to launch this product, it was going to be three months before I had the product out. It took three years. Mm. And this is just the beginning. You know, it's supposed to roll out multiple products, multiple services, things that I had planned all along. And you know what? It it was something I needed to go through, something to humble myself to realize how much of a grind it is. But it also taught me the power of persistence and uh, things like that. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely have to keep keep going, keep grinding, keep hustling. And, you know, I'll, I know I'll eventually get there, but uh, it's it, the goals are the same. It's the pathways changed a little bit. Man, yesterday I had a I had a Charles on the show, and he had a completely different perspective on on the grind. He was like, "The grind isn't real, man. Like, we set those limitations on ourselves. We, you know, and and I catch myself doing the same thing. And I heard you say the same thing because I I think a lot of the same ways. I'm like, I can do anything, but right. We always throw that but in there, and I think those are our self limiting beliefs. I do the same thing all the time. Yeah, I could probably sell, you know, 10 houses this month, but, and there's, there's the, why the, but like, why, why would I stop myself from doing that? If that's really what I wanted to do. And, and, and the perspective that Charles brought yesterday was the reason why you have the, but is because maybe it's not the thing that you're selling. That is the, what you want to do. It's the freedom that it's bringing you that is really what you're after. And, and, you know, after having this conversation with you, I feel a lot of, of the same way, you know, like, you want to be able to travel with your kids. You want to be able to spend the time with your kids. You want to be able to do all those things. And those things only come with the ability for you as an entrepreneur to have the cash flow necessary to give you the time to do those things. And it's right. not the easiest thing in the world to hear when we've spent three years doing something or like James and I, we spent, you know, six years building an insurance company and then somebody comes on, on the show and it's like, well, pfft, I don't know if you should be selling that. You should probably be doing something else. And, 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 and it's not so much that it's hey, the it, thing. It. Right. Yeah, I'd say it. He's like, you probably want to just be selling cat dildos. Is what he basically told me. But, I, I, I saw that message. Yeah, I was like, that was, right, that was well, okay. I, okay. What right. I'm into today. Right. Well, but he, but here's the, and, and the, the truth of the matter is, you know, once we realize what we're actually after, it it gives us that moment of clarity. All of a sudden, we can look at the product or service that we do have in front of us and take a different approach and a different perspective on it. James and I are not going to stop doing insurance because you know some guy came on. The show and told us to sell cat dildos instead. That's not going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. But right. the way we look at our product or service and how we take the approach on how we get the consumer or our end user to look at that product, that did change. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and it's almost the whole the whole realization of you have this product that you have. This is your hustle energy. You've been putting blood, sweat, and tears for three years into this thing, right? And now it's like, okay, cool. I have it. How do I get people to understand the passion that I have behind it? Why is it that I was doing this? Because if I can connect with them on that emotional level, mm -hmm. if I can connect with them on their where they're at in, in, their, in their entrepreneurial journey, like the fact that you were going through it for three years and you're grinding for three years and what you're going through for those three years, that's the message that you're going to want to share with people because that's where they're going to connect with you. And when they've connected with you, they're going to buy from you. Right. And, and ultimately we're after, and that's, that's what Charles's message was about yesterday. It's not really the product that we're selling because right. the product itself is, is just a thing. It's the, it's the dream that we're selling, right? It's the, it's the desires that it's the, it's the freedom that we're looking for to get to the position that we want to go. And so I'm going to ask you this, you know, you spent three years building this thing. Where does it go from here? Uh, honestly, this is just the start. But you know what? I there's there's so many places I want to take it, and the problem is relating back to what you were saying is you know you get in your own head. Uh, you know, being a solopreneur, it's it's hard to bounce ideas off of people. You need you know accountability groups or you know people to help bounce ideas off of because there are times where you do get caught up in the product. You don't get mm -hmm. caught up selling the dream because that's what it really is. That's, that's what I want to create for others is that dream for themselves. And you know what you, you get caught up in, okay, how do I highlight this benefit? How do I highlight this benefit? What do I 
create content for here. And you know what? It's it's unfortunate that we do that, but it is the reality of it as, as well. Dude, I'm telling you, it's a total, it blew my mind on the show yesterday. And I, I mean, again, we've been doing, you know, over 400 people that I've interviewed. And this right. guy came in and just, you know, flipped me ruined off. Everything. You know, he ruined everything. He messed it all <laughs> up for me, right? God, I, I was, I was, I, 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 I swear, I, I'm telling you right now, like I woke up this morning and I, I was, I almost felt uh, depressed. And, and the only reason why I say depressed is because my body, wasn't in tune with what my mind was thinking, right? The right. reality of how I felt uh, in my in my own body, right? It, it, it had to do, you know, with being sore or or you know, it's cold outside. And I had to go for my run. It, it wasn't even like that. It was, you know, I, in my mind, I'm like, what am I doing here? What message am I trying to share with people? Almost 600 episodes in, and, and am I really connecting with people the way I want to be connecting? Why, like? I've gone through this journey and I know other people are in those same exact positions. And that's what we need to be connecting with people on because then all of a sudden, does it really matter whether I'm selling insurance or I'm teaching you how to promote your show on a podcast or whatever? It doesn't matter because they're connecting mm -hmm. with me and my drive and my passion. And that's what yeah. you started with when you started on, on the show today. You were telling me about the drive and the passion that you had at the beginning. And then when we get into the product, now your mind goes back to, well, was the mixture correct? Was it the flavor? Was it that, you know what I mean? We get stuck in our business. So right. tell me a little bit about, you know, what drove you into that entrepreneur? What was, what were you feeling at the beginning when that got you into this space? So it, it goes back to, you know, having been an entrepreneur, um, multiple times before starting companies, hitting brick walls, just giving up. Um, but through this all, I found ways that I was actually impacting people, but it wasn't until I got into a nine to five job where I realized the impact I was actually making. So for well, example, let's hold worked, up. I'm going to, I'm going to interrupt you right there. That yeah, part yeah. at the beginning, that is the connection piece. I think that's where hustle energy comes in. That emotion right there where, you know, I, I hit a wall. I was, I was I was fed up with this. I, I didn't have the energy to continue moving forward. I was done with my nine to five. I'm done clocking out. I need yeah. something to get me to that next level. I need something to help me become, you know, find my financial freedom. I need something to help me start my side hustle. I need something to push me in that direction. That part right there without going into anything else. I think that's how you sell hustle energy. There you go. You, we're done. I just you just, you just <laughs> my marketing. Help. Don't worry. Yeah. He does that. He does that to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I had a whole point, and I was gonna say something, but you said it for me perfectly. Thanks. Yeah, but, I've been said better than I could. So that, I, that's where we connect with people, right? And and this is this right. is the problem I think for for most of us is that's a vulnerability point. We don't want to talk about that time we were fed up. We don't want to talk about that time where you know I had a migraine headache because I I had so many things to do and I couldn't get it done. I, we don't want to talk about the time that you know we were eighteen hours in and I still hadn't finished the thing that I said I was going to have done three hours ago, right? We don't right. want to talk about those things, but those are the things that we're connecting with people. Those are the things that it, it, I'm not the only one experiencing it. You're not right. the only one who created a product and thought it was going to be launching in three months, but it took three years. That is a great part of the story. That's where we're going to make the, the biggest connection and the biggest impacts with people. Cause they're dude, you can go to GNC and there's tons of products, right? Oh, of course. But why yours? Why yours? You have a following of people who've connected with you as the individual, who've connected with your struggle, who are going through the same things that you've had to go through at the very beginning. And I think that's your that's your marketing piece right there. Well, perfect. Um, you, you, are you are you available for hire? <laughs> right? All the time. I'm here <laughs> every single day, Monday to Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, like I said, I get stuck in my own head at times and you know what, it is really that, that simple is making that connection, making that, uh, you know, explaining the story and you know what, you just, you just get caught up in it sometimes. And that's, that's where I've been the last little while. 
man, I'm going to make a conscious effort to not get cut up and cut up in my own head. I'm going to try to go with these, these feelings, exactly what we just talked about today. Literally it's been in my head all day. And I just had the opportunity to tell, to talk about it and to see it in your own Perfect. story. And, yeah. and again, man, again, like you have the power and you have the story and you have the product to make that Jeff Bezos money. You can, uh, maybe not Jeff Bezos money, but take out one <laughs> zero, take out one zero and it's still a ton of money. That, that's still, yeah, that's still, right. You still got two zeros. Take out I'll two be pretty zeros. happy. Yeah. Take out two <laughs> zeros or three zeros is still a ton You're of money. You're still a billionaire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, my, my, my point being, you have it, you have the capability and I'm going to try to work on it myself. I'm going to try to top, yeah. stop telling myself the, but, and there is no, but in my life, there's this, this is the thing I want to go after and we're going to go after it. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just grateful that you you've come on the show to do that. Let everybody know how they can get some hustle energy, especially the listening audience describe, uh, you know, how they can get a hold of you. Yeah. So the best place to go is to my website, uh, hustle dot energy. Uh, that's the website and you want, you can get the product there. Follow me on Instagram at hustle dot energy. Uh, but, uh, you know what? I, I was going to talk about the product. Forget that the dream, you know what? Go make an impact through entrepreneurship. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's uh let's get some of these comments in here so we make sure we give uh give people some love. So Ray says, that's right, it's you that you are selling. Your energy, right. your passion, and your mission is what brings people towards you. And the product could be anything. You are your brand is the product. And that's you know, and and again, dude, the fact that you're that you have your podcast, that you're doing your stuff on a regular basis, that is what's gonna get you to where you want to go. Those people who are listening, those Instagrammers who have hopped on and said hi, yeah. the, you know, all those people, those are the ones we need to connect with. They connected with you for a reason. And let's let's make sure that that we connect with them on that same level. Dude, Trent, awesome show, man. Thanks for coming yeah. on. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We're gonna have to be talking more regularly to make sure that uh you know i don't i don't forget these things dude I, and same dude and and, 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 and ray you, for tuning in yeah and thanks thank you ray for tuning in yeah and, and if you ever have anything like that and if you ever catch me on some you know some other level i'm going back to my own original product or something i need you to call me out on that just just send me a dm tell me hey cat dildos and i'll be like okay <laughs> you're absolutely right i know exactly what you're talking about right there <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, quick reminder, uh, if, you, if you like what you heard today, give us a little subscribe, give us a rate on any of the uh, podcast platforms that you listen to, iTunes, Spotify, whatever it is. Uh, hit us up on our on our social media platforms, at Business Bros Pod is where you can find us. You want to be a guest on the show, you can go to businessbros.biz slash podcast guest, but there's an eight-week waiting list, and uh, we closed off the last two weeks of December, so you're going to have to go into 2021. However... Well. You can jump on the last minute guest list scrolling at the bottom businessbros.biz slash last minute. And if we do have a cancellation, because that happens during uh, Thanksgiving, it happens as we get closer to the holidays, we'll send out an email. You can jump the line and hop onto the show as soon as possible. So thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We will catch you on the flip side today. By the way, is SHIT so, so happy, happy it's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> That's all we got for you guys today. Peace. Bye-bye. And we're out. Thank you for listening to the Business Bros Podcast. Are you looking to get more clients or to increase your income? Hernan, the Business Bro, can help you generate referrals through the power of podcasting. And James, the Insurance Bro with Pipeline Insurance, can help you effectively add insurance to your existing business. If you are ready to create wealth today and generational wealth for tomorrow, email businessbros at csfirst.com to schedule a free consultation or join the Business Bros Network, www.businessbros.biz.